Holt had an MB. Uh, Alright, sorry. No, I don't even want to talk about that. Why? <laughs> Hi guys, today on Motivational Monday we have Kenrick Sandy. <laughs> I've been I've been waiting to get you on here for ages and I said to you that you were one of the people who actually inspired me to do this. So as you can tell, Kenrick is Mr. Boy Blue. Yes. H2O. Yes. I, I don't really know how to don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. <laughs> um a director of Boy Blue Entertainment. Co-director. Co-director. Who who's the other director? Mikey J. <laughs> He's already been filmed and interviewed for this, yes. one of the second episodes, so make sure you check that out. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself, can Rick? Give, give the viewers a little insight to who you are. I'm black. Great. Um, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> um, okay, I've been dancing for about, oh my gosh, it's 19, this year will be 19 years. Started in 1998. Crazy. Couldn't bother with. I didn't really like dance to be honest. If I, when I first saw it, I was just more into basketball and football. Mm. I left that to like Kelray and Mikey for them to do the dance stuff. I used to go and watch them do their thing. Yeah. And then I got into it. I used to dance with um, a guy named Cat B. Uh, Forest Gate Youth Centre. <laughs> East Seven. Um, <laughs> and that's when I first started dancing. Mm. Um, I would say properly, like getting into it. One day went from two days, two days went from three, etc., etc. Mm. And then, mm, so you had yeah. KMK. KMK established in two thousand. Oh wow! Okay, two years after you started. Yeah, two years after I started, we had Matrix. We had a crew called Matrix. Yep. Um, that was at based at Hamilton Road Centre. Um, and then we had K we had KMK, which, which is you, me, Mikey, and Coroy. Who is your brother? Brother, <laughs> if, you, if, if you've seen him. He's just blench. If you've seen him, he's just he's just blenching it. Body <laughs> Buddha um, Yeah, so that's that's my you know my beginnings, and then from then just got very very serious about it. Started Boy Blue Entertainment with Mikey in two thousand and one. Oh wow! Um, wow! Yeah, two thousand and one, man, isn't it? It's a long time. I mean, twenty seventeen, two thousand and one. Let's speak for me. Let's <laughs> speak. Um, long time, man. Very long time. And from there, we've just done some some stuff, man. We've done a whole lot of stuff. You there. like to play it down. It's not like little stuff you lot are doing. Not only do you teach kids, mm -hmm. you guys have a huge community, and it's a family. When you, if anyone goes to one of your classes or they go to your base, it feels like a family unit. So don't try and play it down. Like it's really powerful what you do, and the amount of people you inspire. Okay, we've done a lot of powerful stuff. Good. <laughs> Acknowledging. Acknowledging. Yes, right, cool. Because you do, you all do uh, dance sets for shows, but then you also do your own productions. Exactly. Talk to us a little bit about your productions that you've done so far. Well, um, okay, if we're going back our first official production, that would have been mm, Pied Piper mm -hmm. in 2006, yeah. which got us a Laurence Olivier Award. We then did another production after that, which was uh, we had a night with the brats at the barbecue and we had over the edge. Mm. Over the edge wasn't really good. <laughs> good stuff came from yeah, it, yeah, which, yeah, then, yeah. which then created BBE Legacy. Mm. And then from that, uh, 2013, was it 2013? We did um, The Five and the Prophecy of Prana. Yep, yep. A hip hop, Shaolin, martial art kind of mix up and thing. <laughs> and then after that, the new one that we're putting out is Black, White, Grey. Which is actually out this week. I'm going to link the, the tickets down below because you have to come and see it. I bought my tickets before they sold out. So you guys is need to sold out? Most of the days are starting to sell out. Get your <laughs> ticket, mate. Get your <laughs> ticket. Get your ticket. Yeah, mate. mate, get it. Ha like, so, I mean, you've done all these amazing productions and you've got a huge... I'm going to call it Army. What are the challenges you faced along the way? Um... Challenges, I would say, just maintaining. Really, it's not easy already uh, being a dancer in this field, mm. um, especially in the UK. There's because there's so many dancers, and when I first started doing, um, especially professional commercial work, mm. having to go to auditions every day, and you know, trying to make sure you get this job because you have to pay rent and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you do get those couple of challenges, but when you're doing that, or when you're trying to be an individual or trying to be a performer or a backing dancer and at the same time you're a teacher, you're a choreographer, uh, you're a, a co-artistic director, 
it's a lot of hats that you're putting on mm. and you're going to get knockbacks you know what I mean in this space of opinions and facts and mm. whatever it is so you just have to keep on pushing you've got to, you've got to try and be pioneering you've got to be innovative and you've got to be and you've got to make it refreshing for yourself mm. you know what I mean never feel like you're you're there yeah, always yeah, yeah, yeah. always be a student learning stuff and it's good to still feel like you're able to learn because we're all investigating movement, we're all investigating expressionism and it's just nice to be in a space for so long mm. and be able to uh, support, facilitate and to encourage others to do their thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Over time you, you fall out with people, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. you lose friends, um, you don't really see your family as much. Mm. Um, because you know you're you're doing your thing, or there's discrepancies, or there's disagreements and mm. stuff. But that just comes that comes with life, innit? Yeah, so to me, yeah, dance yeah. is life. You're gonna have your moments of positive, you're gonna have your moments of negativity, mm. and you just gotta just keep on going. You just gotta keep on pushing. You know mm. what I mean? I I do feel sometimes people kind of be like, oh, this is long. I just wanna go. Mm. And I've had those moments. Yeah. Oh. But those are the moments that make you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because mm. I mean, one question someone did ask on Instagram was, have you ever felt like quitting? Yeah. Many times. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's, what's motivated you past that? Music. Yeah. Just put one track on, one of them hard tracks, mm. and you're just like, oh, I'm chatting breeze, man. I need to stay in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, do, yeah. you do feel like it's long. Like, especially, I think there's different things that can really discourage you. Sometimes, you know, as a as a teacher, if your students not listening to you and it, and you just feel as though that you're just giving, 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 mm. and you're not taking anything, it's it's deflating. Yeah, yeah. Um, as a dancer, I can understand, you know, if you're not getting picked to do shows and stuff like that, it's deflating. Mm. And so from an artistic point of view, if you've got dancing in front of you and you're not able to, you know, pinpoint the, the, the artistry that you want to put out there, yeah. it's, it, it's demotivating. Mm. But, you know, there are solutions, there are ways, it's all challenges, you know, yeah. and, and it's important that we are all in a frame of mind to push ourselves and to push others. Yeah. And I'm about pushing others. if you push yourself, yes, okay. That's, it's important that we all cultivate the scene. Mm. So whether you're with me or you're not, or whether you're with that crew or you're not, or whether you're just by yourself, as long as you're contributing and not just taking, yeah. then that's all good for me. So yeah, man, I've had many times where I wanted to quit. That's crazy, many, many, that's many crazy. Times. And I mean, like, you you literally live such a busy life that I can understand why sometimes you're like, ah, this is long, I just mm. wanna stop. You're, you're a family man, you've got a huge, huge team around you, working alongside, you know, here, Barbican, Mikey, you've got a lot of people and you've got a lot of responsibility. Do you feel like that weighs down on you from time to time? Of course, like, you really need to have a solid back for this. You yeah. Know, I mean, you really have to make sure that you've got a strong unit around you. How do you um, ensure that you still give 100? Because you're always at it. Mm. How do you, do you, like, step away for a second? Or, I mean, what, what are your, how do you do that? Mm. How do you recuperate? <laughs> See, the hardest thing, I, you know what, I, I think I'm, I, personally, I'm spiritually led okay. um, in what I do. Mm. I, I want things to be epic, so a lot of the times when we're creating work, especially the shows that we've done for like breaking convention and stuff like that, mm. it's, it's, it's coming from a, a place of, of passion. Yeah, yeah. So, to maintain is to find that passion, and, and, and I, just, I just see life. I walk down the street and I'm inspired by people walking down the street, I'm inspired by the, the mechanics of what is going on in in on the streets of yeah, the world. Yeah, so yeah. I can hear music and I can see something like, okay, I can make something from this. Mm. I don't just see it as um, five, six, seven, eight. I see it as more than that. There is more. There's a there's a breath in it. There's a, mm. a energy in it. And I think, you know, in order to maintain, yeah. you need to kind of use those resources around you and understand that mm -hmm. is your passion. And that keep and that will keep you going. You mm. know what I mean? Plus, at the same time, right now, I know you like one of the major things is rest. Yeah. Um, and that's a hard thing if you're keeping <laughs> going right now. Yeah, once yeah, once yeah. this shows up and running, I'm resting. Yeah. I need to rest. I need to. I need to know when to say no to work as well. Yeah, yeah, that's a huge um, thing for especially for someone in the creative yeah. industry. And also um, have a lot more me time. As much as you have your family and your friends and everyone around you have time for yourself mm. because as much as you may be able to sit and chill in your house if you've got your family around you they want your energy they want your time yeah it's not it's not you time yeah, 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 you know yeah. What i mean so it's about trying to get more me time and also um definitely try and make like mot yeah, yeah. get more get more get go to a physio go to go and get a massage mm. you know what i mean it's definitely important for us as, as 
uh, uh, hip hop dancers, street dancers, mm. uh, however, however you want to call it, that we go and get ourselves checked up on. The knowledge that I have now, yeah. if I had it before, I would have taken care of myself more. I know there's certain yeah. moments that I'm feeling it in myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is important to get yourself checked out. So for those dancers or someone who's new to the dancing, what would you recommend doing coming into this world? In the world of dance? I say one of the first things is do your research. Understand the, the scene and the, and the people in the scene, mm. so that you know you know what you're, you're getting yourself into. Yeah, yeah. Um, come prepared with ammunition. Like be multi-skilled. Mm. If if you're not a master, at least be a jack of all trades. Understand the different styles: the the popping, the locking, the breaking, the house, mm. the crump, mm. um, et cetera, et cetera. Really understand it. Choreography. Don't just go to one class. Go to more classes. Yep. Um, to understand how you pick up choreography and the different choreographic genres that are around. Mm. Um, the mentality as well. Make sure you're coming with a, a positive, humble mentality. Mm. Obviously, we need our ego to push ourselves and to be you know, confident in what we do. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. You know, switch on, switch off. When you need to be egotistic, when you're showing that routine and you're, you're making people see that you're a boss, mm. then that's cool. But when you finish class and everything's cool, just humble yourself and yeah. just go home and chill, yeah. you know, go and watch some Netflix, or, <laughs> you know what I mean, whatever, now TV. Yeah, 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 it's true. So, mm. Cool, so what's next after Black, White, Grey? Oh, wow, what is next? Um, you still teaching? I am still teaching, but I'm hoping to have a break. So sorry for those who come to class and stuff. Um, but yeah, I need to have a bit of a break. Mm. I need some time to recuperate and really think about what I want to do. Yeah. Um, I want to keep on creating work, but I also want to help to support um, other artists as well, mm. other choreographers in what they do. I really want to get get into do, put, putting out more platforms or yeah. supporting other platforms. Yes, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we we really do need some more platforms. There to is help. a lack of them, yeah. Yeah. So I know I've been on Kimberly J's case about <laughs> bringing bringing back her stuff. Oh yeah. Oh um, yeah. Because that was a very important part of oh, the calendar. Yeah, of the scene, um, yeah, for the growth of the scene exactly. as well. Exactly. And I think, yeah, so it's about supporting. I'm definitely going to go into hibernation and, and be creative, but more so looking back at some of the stuff that we've done in the past mm. and how to revamp them and rework them. Yeah, yeah. We've got so much pieces that we've most probably done once or twice and yeah. never done it again. Yeah. And then right now we've got one of our pieces. Um, a part of the um, AQA GCSE dance, oh, wow. which is the Emancipation wow. Expressions and Peace. So right now it's about wow. putting, it's about plugging that more, letting teachers and sh and, and schools know that we're here to supply um, workshops and stuff like that for them. You know, because for me, it's an important thing that we're in there um, as part of the GCSE dance mm. because we can really help them to understand how diverse dance is. Because usually yeah. you just have contemporary and ballet, yeah, yeah, but yeah, right yeah. now. If you're someone who wants to get into dance, um, you're going to need everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, need yeah. to be classically trained, but you need to make sure you have your, your hip hop slash street dance. You need to have all of that stuff now, mm. um, which will make you more diverse, mm. make you much more stronger as a as a as an individual. Yeah. And you'll be able to supply more. Mm. Um, so yeah, it's that. Do some more writing. I haven't really done any spoken word for oh, a while. Oh, your spoken so word is dope as well. So I need to, I need to write some yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, yeah. I want to start really using the spoken word and the movement more this year. Mm. Uh, I had a conversation with um, Ivan yeah. uh, yesterday, and he was just saying, you know, I just want to just show people what I'm about. And it's like, yeah, that's right. Mm. Show people what, mm. what, what you're about and, and what, what's the possibilities. And we all have to kind of take that mentality of really pushing ourselves and yeah. taking ourselves to the next level. and and appreciate ourselves more yeah. you know and what we and our capabilities yeah mm. that sounds like it could be the line for the for the video learn to appreciate yourself Le that's yeah no like. definitely definitely <laughs> learn to appreciate yourself i think it's really important because we are a lot of us sometimes are waiting for someone to give us that validation well, that, yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah, well yeah, done yeah. you're sick you're heavy and it's like if you you need to know yourself yeah you have to love yourself before you can love others and yeah, i yeah. And so if if people see me ghosting, like it's not a bad thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because you, there's something big I need some, gonna yeah, come. Exactly, from something big from it. So yeah, yeah. Don't, I mean, although you're going into hibernation, where can people find some of your work? You got you got you guys got a website? Boyblynt.com. <laughs> I will link it down below. Well, yeah. Um, 
You can check my Insta, Ken Rikesh or Sandy. Thank you for coming <laughs> and meeting me at the barbecue. No, thank you for letting me interview you because I know it was going to take forever. Right, so. Safe in it. Blaze it. Chop knuckle. Spot it. Ow. Yeah. And then go. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. No? Did Until work? next time, take care. Much love. Cheers. Are you trying to clean off your dry skin? It's not dry skin, it's a cut. How dare you? <laughs> that would not suffice. <laughs> Don't do that. That is not nice. So painful. I'm trying to sign you out. Painful in what sense? <laughs> you have bags. So you've been to Tesco's. <laughs> I thought it was for both of us. Uh, you know what? Fair enough. <laughs> well, I was just coming to get my notes and shit. And you know? wasn't in here. It was a quiet got, room. Basically, we're gonna start doing the run soon. We have spotlight interrogation. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna. I'm just telling you. I'm posting myself upstairs anyway. Okay. Will it literally be like three minutes? Oh no, listen, what are you doing? Kendrick's just a choreographer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there anything else you want to leave the viewers with? Don't put my name in red. <laughs> Some people want a hype hype issue. You want a hype hype issue? It's like, love it. Your jokes. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love it. I like the way you try to flick your locks to, you know, Jeez. the emotion. Show the progress. <laughs> Time. Shit, yeah. See, I couldn't do it. Yes. Yeah, no. Stop, stop. Chops. Cut. <laughs> delete. <laughs>